Hey y'all, before I jump into this week's vlog, I did want to give you a quick update since my last video. As you saw, I decided to go to the concert still and I had a, I had a great time. I, I, I had a great time being with my aunt and, you know, seeing her and stuff. It was just great. So I'm glad I made the decision to go. Um, I feel like my perspective on life right now is, is very different. I feel like my purpose has been validated by God. Like, I feel like just a lot of things. It's been an up and down, um, up and down emotionally and mentally. Like, on one hand, like, I've, I've been crying since I have nightmares. Like, when I close my eyes, I just keep seeing to me what was the most traumatic part of the whole situation and I just keep seeing it and it just it's just emotionally overwhelming um but then I'm just I'm happy because I'm like so grateful I feel so so blessed like I I don't even know man like I just really don't even know how else to say it I don't know I just I'm just so blessed so it's been an upward and downward spiral um emotionally but I'm just taking it day by day um I'm in therapy, so we're working on it. I've been in therapy. So right now, before my next um, appointment, I just feel like it's very, like it's very imperative that I focus on those feel-good things that we practice. So journaling, praying, um, going for walks and stuff. Um, I'm not going to drive. I don't know when I will drive again. But um, as of right now, I, I don't have any intentions on getting a rental car. Um, so I'm going back to walk in. I'm going to be a walking ass bitch. You know, I'm going to be on this martyr. Like, I'm going to just, I'm going to just do what feels comfortable. I can't afford to have no panic attacks while I'm driving and stuff. I just feel very anxious. So I'm not going to do that. Um, hopefully with time and with therapy and stuff, it'll fade. But as of right now, I just, I can't do that. All right, y'all, that's it. Let's get into the vlog. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Chrissy and welcome to another flight attendant vlog. Um, I am actually in a rush, so I'm, so I'm gonna make this intro really quick. So, I am getting ready for a three day trip. Um, I am going to layover in Grand Rapids and Seattle. So, I'm about to head out. Um, I'm gonna call my Uber in just a little bit. I still have to put on some stuff like my scarf and things. Y'all, I have no stockings. <laughs> this is my first time not wearing stockings to work, so we'll see how this goes. I'm definitely gonna try to get a pair in the airport since I gotta sit um, <laughs> after my turn. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here. I don't know why I added that little bit of information. I know y'all don't care. But <laughs> I just wanted to get on here and introduce the vlog and I'll see y'all a little later. All right, y'all, so I am cutting it super close to work right now. I called my Uber, and it's, it took like 20 minutes. It's taking 20 minutes to get to me. So I was not expecting that. I was thinking like five. I, I don't think I've waited this long for an Uber. Um, but, or a Lyft. I'm taking Lyft. I haven't waited this long ever, so I'm like, oof. My sign in is 710. It is currently 624. I can make it. I could make it. I hope there's no traffic. Right now it's saying it's gonna take me about like 20 minutes to get to work. So it's kind of close, but I definitely think I can make it. All right, y'all, so I made it to my layover and I am exhausted. Like, I only slept for like maybe two hours last night. I was so set on going to sleep at nine. I was like, I'm gonna go to sleep early. I'm going to um, drink my little sleepy time tea and I'm gonna be well rested when I came back to work. Baby, I didn't go to sleep until like three o'clock in the morning and I had to be up at five so 
it's it I'm exhausted like I tell myself that I'm gonna start walking on my layovers and just you know going for a good amount of uh go walking for a good amount of time get some fresh air and like you know a little mini workout in but I am exhausted um I'm just probably gonna go to sleep I'm probably gonna just like take a shower wash my face and stuff read and go to sleep it is 4 17 right now my pickup is at 5 40 so I'm thinking if I could go to sleep early um I'll be straight so yeah um I gotta fix my nails because I lost two nails I don't know I think so I've been doing press-ons y'all and the press-on these are so nice Focus. these are so cute so I've been doing press-ons and I've ordered some from like kiss and Amazon now these are from Amazon and I love the nails um, I'm gonna link the nails um, below it came in three different packs it's so it's so cute but I'm realizing the stuff that comes with it is not good like the glue and the little sticky thing that comes with it is just not good um, so I'm just still like working on seeing what I like though like do I like the glue do I like the sticky thing a little adhesive that comes with it um but I don't know it just keep breaking some of them feel super secure and some of them like I could just bend like like look at this focus like I could just lift this bitch up and so I'm not really feeling that so I am going to fix my nails and then I'm going to sleep but let me show y'all this room tour same layover I'm still in Grand Rapids it's about 1 a.m. in the morning and I cannot sleep like I just I cannot sleep and I'm tired I did fall asleep earlier then I woke up around like 11 and um, I started to finish my nails I got one more to do but um then I try to go back to sleep and I, I couldn't go to sleep. I, I didn't even sleep that long. Like I fell asleep at like six o'clock and then I woke up at 11. I really thought I was gonna sleep through the night, but I'm gonna need something to give because I can't be doing this. My sleep is like really important. Sleep is really important. Like people underestimate the power of sleeping. It's a strength. Like, first of all, I have a long day tomorrow. <clears throat> Second of all, like sleeping helps with your immune system, obviously energy, um, diet. It's just, it's really the key to everything. So I really don't got time to be up all night like this. So, um, also my throat is hurting <coughs> and I keep coughing. I was fine all day. Now I'm trying to go to sleep and um, my throat wanna hurt, it's so inconvenient. So I'm hoping that once I kind of like um, get this like pain out the way, maybe I fall asleep. I have to wake up at four. So hopefully if I can just get like an, another hour in, um, that'll be great or two. But I'm making tea right now. Let me show you. I bought this portable kettle. It's so cute. Let me see. It's just so bright. It is so cute. So it's making my tea right now. It's the size of like a thermos 
or a water bottle and it just comes with the cord and you just boil your water. I um, don't use pipe water, I just use the water that I get off the plane. And I'm making lemon ginger tea. It's really quick. I think it just finished. So I love this. I got it on Amazon. So I'm going to link it um, in the description below along with all my flight attendant stuff. Like I just bought a new um, lunch bag. Let me show you. I got a lot of stuff in here. I had a lot of stuff in here. Oh. <laughs> but it just looks brand new. Um, it is by Torrent. And I just like the compartments. Like it comes with the bottle opener, you know, the two side, front and top. So, and it's a pretty decent size. I don't feel like showing y'all right now. Plus, there's a whole lot of stuff in there. So maybe I'll show y'all tomorrow when I get to Seattle. But, um,. My tea, my water is done. And so it's just like this. And it's really hot. Um, This was like a great flight attendant buy because I do not drink that water on the plane, child. And after what I've seen in some of these hotel coffee makers, I'm good. So hopefully... Hopefully, after I drink my tea and it kind of soothes my throat, I'll be able to fall asleep and not be tired. I, by the third flight, I was ready to knock out. Like, I had to stay busy so I could stay up. I don't like that feeling because then it kind of affects, like, your mood. And I was feeling so good today. All the passengers were great. Like, I ain't had not one bad apple. They were all very nice, very chill. And that's the flights that I like to have. And so my energy was great. I felt happy and stuff. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I love that. But I ain't got nothing much to say to y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know what the heck is going on. Because why am I up? Like, my eyes are tired. But my brain is like, come on, girl. I even started writing an article. This is, child. So yeah, just letting y'all know, hopefully I can fall asleep. I just need two more hours and I'm straight. So we'll see. But um, I'll see y'all a little bit when I start getting ready for work. Hey, what's up y'all? Good morning. It is the next day. Um, I was able to get a nap in about like two hours or so. So I do feel a little tired, but we're going to push through. We're going to manifest this energy. I'm going to just be Smiley, just to get through, we have two flights today. I'm going from where we at Grand Rapids to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Seattle. So, um, most likely, I'm gonna see y'all back at the um, hotel when I get to Seattle. Um, so yeah, I have to hurry up because pickup is at 5 40, it is 5 30. I got some stuff to put away, so I'll see y'all in Seattle. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I am in Seattle at my layover, and I just wanted to check in with y'all. Um, I'm getting sick again. I was sick like two, three weeks ago, and I'm getting sick again. So if I sound nasally, that is why. So um, I'm going to go, and we're going to start this room tour. So yeah, y'all, that was the 
room tour. Um, yeah, it's a really big room. Like, it's a really clean and big room. The hotel is really nice. I actually might go back down there and show y'all because it's attached to a mall and everything. So, I actually just might go back down there and do that. But, um, whew. make sure y'all can't see my badge. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's it's a good hotel. So, right now, I'm going to drink some tea. And I'm probably going to order more stuff. I started taking my vitamin C again. Like the emergency packets. After. <laughs> after um, I got sick like a couple weeks ago. So I've been taking that. I take uh, vitamin C pills. But baby, I'm about to buy um, some oregano pills. My uncle said that it's like really good. Um. And it helps with your immune system and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to buy that. I have elderberry at home that I'm going to start taking. But this is ridiculous. Like, it's not even cold and flu season. I got sick twice in less than a month. In the same month. Like, I can't do that. I started wiping down all the phones in the jump seat. I have disinfectant spray. Like, I don't understand how I keep getting sick. It's really not clicking. Like, the math is not mathing. So, um, I'm going to have to step it up a little bit because I don't got time for this. Being sick really ruins my mood. And I know that you got to work through it. Like, you got to sweat it out and stuff like that. So, we finna, um, we finna do that. Definitely, when I get back home tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, it's. It's game time. We going in full like recovery mode. So yeah. But anyway, the plan today is I'm gonna meet up with my crew around 1:30, and we're gonna go to um, the Pike Plate Pike Place Market. I think that's what it's called. Uh, we're gonna go there and we're gonna eat and just walk around and stuff. So of course I'm gonna bring y'all with me and. Then, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I really want to see Little Mermaid. So, I think when we get back, I should have brought my blanket. <laughs> when we get back, I think I'm going to go see the Little Mermaid. Um, our pickup is at 6, so it's not that bad. Um, yeah, so that's, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think after that, I'm going to go see Little Mermaid. Because there's a movie theater really close. So, I'm going to look up tickets and stuff. I'm really excited about it. I heard so many good things about um the movie and i'm just really excited for hallie like i think she'll do a great like i know she's gonna do a great job so i can't wait to see it i'm gonna be a big ass kid <laughs> okay so i told y'all that i was gonna show you my lunch bag so it's by torrid i got it on amazon i i just got a brand new one so she's fresh um but it has three compartments so I don't have any food I didn't bring any food on this trip so I don't have any actual food in here I'm using it for storage just for my regular stuff so the top part is here and usually what I would put in here um, I have my disinfectant spray here I have my teas I would keep um, condiments in here like ketchup and stuff like that hot sauce and then I would also have um, typically like dishwashing liquid and stuff like that. Like I would have things like that. I would also have my medication in here and my vitamins. And pretty much that's it. At the top, I usually have like extra stuff. Like I have um, gloves and some wipes. And then I have like... Um, this is our device to ring things up on the plane. So when you buy something, we'll use this to ring it up. So I have that in here. I have my book in here too. Um, just because I need it to be easy access. So like if I want to pop it out, I don't want to have to open my whole suitcase just to get the book. So I typically keep stuff like that in here. No food really. 
is that um, this is the big part. It's deep enough for me. Like that's how deep it is. So it's deep enough for me because typically like, I, I got it smart with how I pack things. Like I pack maybe one dish and I'll put everything in Ziploc bags and then I'll put things in foil. Um, if I'm bringing like oatmeal or something that that, or like salad dressing and stuff, I will put that in a container and then I use like ice packs for my ice bags. Some of them I have like the ones that you actually put like ice in, like if you were sore. And then some of them I have like the freezer ice packs that are flat. So this is a good size for me to carry food for three days. Um, and it's perfect how like it fits on my suitcase. So in here, I usually keep like my utensils and straws. So I have a straw here and then um, I just have utensils, forks, spoons, knives, and then I'll keep like an extra, like this is the little ice bag that they give at the hotel. I just like to keep one in here. You never know when I need something like this. I mean, I don't ever use this, but there's a bottle opener should you need it. So that's the lunch bag. I mean, this is perfect for me. Super simple, super affordable. Um, it's a decent size. I got my little, inlet, um, I don't say inlet on here. Uh, I got my little crew tag and you know, that's purple, so it match, you know. And then it comes with it, uh, this top part. You can adjust it. it. has this, like, part that you can put over your shoulder. So, that's it, y'all. That's my work bag. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I am about to head out to, um... Uh, the market so yeah this is uh, I don't got nothing um, spectacular on just a t-shirt and some shorts but I'm about to head out I'm supposed to be meeting my crew at 1 30 it is currently 1 30 so I'll see y'all when I get there So I just got back from um, the Pike Place Market and um, we just walked around a little bit. I left my food in the restaurant. I had a whole bunch of food left over and I had it all ready to go in a bag in a container and I left it in the restaurant. I am pissed like well not anymore but initially I was pissed and I was just like whatever I'm not gonna allow it to ruin my mood because I'm actually having a good time with my crew um but I'm just I'm so sad because I have my mind set on eating that tomorrow and I only left the restaurant for like five minutes literally as I walked out the door I realized that I didn't have my bag and I went back and they threw it away and I'm just like dang they didn't want to leave it for like five minutes to see if I would come back like it's all wrapped up so I'm sad and I asked them if they could make another one and they said that they're the cooks are like done for the day so yeah that just it really did hurt because the food was so good y'all but it is what it is there's nothing I could do it's my fault I did leave it so it is what it is but after we did that, we walked around the, uh, the market. It was really cute. Definitely recommend. Um, the views there of the water is really, really good. The seafood is really good. Y'all, I had raw oysters for the first time. It's so good. Like, I really didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I almost enjoy it more than the charbroiled 
um, oysters because that's usually what I get. Um, but the way we did it, it was like we put the lemon on first, then the horseradish, and then some hot sauce. Baby, fire. So I really didn't enjoy that. But after we left the, uh, the market, we walked around a bit. We went to the mall um, and just was looking around. Um, I told, So I'm definitely, so we walked around and I got some um, lemon ginger honey crystals because I'm definitely getting sick again. And it's like, I'll be fine when I'm home, but as soon as I get on that plane, it's like I get sick. So I'm gonna have to just start wearing my mask again because I cannot be doing this. And I gotta really try to strengthen my immune system. So I ordered some things off of Amazon to kind of get that going, but um, I'm definitely congested. Like my ears were clogged. I had to chew gum hella hard to kind of um, get rid of it and kind of unclog it. But yeah, today it was a really nice trip. It was really good. I am so tired. Look at my hair. I, my hair didn't look like this before I left. Like it was big, but it wasn't like this. Like the waves, the, the pattern, the curl pattern is almost non-existent. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. It is. 12 i mean it's 7 22 right now um but it is 10 22 in atlanta so i need to go to bed our pickup is at 6 a.m tomorrow we have a super long day we're going from seattle to boston and that flight is blocked for five and a half hours then we have a two and a half hour sit a sit means um a break in between your flight where you're just hanging around the airport waiting to get on your flight so we have a two and a half hour sit and then we go from boston to atlanta that is a very long day um i think that boston to atlanta flight is blocked for almost three hours so i'm gonna have meal service on both um it's just gonna be a really long day so i kind of want to be prepared for that i feel like i've been tired so yeah i had a really good time um yeah i don't have anything else to say i really got to get myself together this room is a mess so <laughs> i need to get to it prepare my clothes and everything for tomorrow um i'm probably not gonna get on if anything i'll do some bureau and that'll be it but yeah hey y'all just in case i don't get back on here i do want to close out the vlog properly so thank y'all so so much for watching i appreciate every view and every click if you have any questions or you just want to say hey go ahead and leave it in the comments below um please subscribe that helps your girl out a lot and go ahead and share this video with anybody you think might benefit from it i'll see y'all in my next video bye